What's in the box? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Dan the Wolfman. Happy holidays, everybody. Got an unboxing. Ruger was nice enough to send me out the Ruger PC charger. And the reason I'm doing this, just testing it for a few months, because everyone talks about a messenger bag or backpack gun. And this could be a very fun range toy. I got the Ruger PC charger here. Just a shortened version of the PC carving. It is simply that. It's just a pistol. It's nothing evil no matter what it looks like. It's just a pistol. Okay. A nice short barrel. I think about six inches. I haven't looked up uh, specs. A little over five pounds, I think. And um, anyway... Here is the Ruger PC charger based on the carbine, which is based on the old uh, camp carbine and all that carbine. And anyway, I appreciate Ruger sending it out so I could have fun for a few months. This is sort of now being kind of the Christ Christmas to myself, though I'll send it back after a few months probably. And it comes with one of their excellent SR9 mags, uh, I believe they are, but what really made them popular was changing out the adapter, putting the adapter in for Glock mags. As you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Glock 9mm, um, but having said that, Glock mags are cheap, and PMag now makes supposedly very reliable Glock magazines. So the reason for doing this is to be able to put it in a, you know, just as a range toy fun with the family and nothing wrong with expressing that American rep. Thank you, Ruger, for sending them out. But Elite Survival sent me this Envoy EDC Concealment Messenger Bag, which looks amazing, and I'll do more with this later. And they also sent, you hear the term backpack gun, the Guardian Concealment Bag. Now, while usually you probably don't need something like that, something like the Messenger Bag might be very helpful if you're a traveling businessman and you spend a lot of time in hotel rooms, motel rooms, which gets really sketchy. This can be better uh, defense for your home, your legal home for the night at the hotel motel than a traditional pistol. Now, while I see absolutely nothing wrong with it, I won't be putting one of those evil things that start with a B on it. I simply will be going old school, I believe, with a single point sling. And with a single point sling and most likely a red dot, I think this thing will be fast to deploy. On the PC charger, you can swap this out. Mine is tightened down too tight. I did let Ruger know about that but you can swap out the uh, magazine adapter well between Glock and SR9, and I think also the American, if you order that separately. It comes with the Glock and the Ruger, uh, the Ruger installed. But you can also, if you're a wrong-handed person, you can change the side for the magazine release. Push button safety, as everyone's familiar with, just like a beefed up 1022. And you got a front hand stop, however you hold based on your size here or here. And I think I might end up doing this with the red dot to help muzzle it down uh, the way the single point sling goes on. So the real reason is just to play with the idea of the backpack or the messenger bag. And I really thank Elite Survival to send out the Guardian and the Envoy. They look excellent. Well, and most times you won't need something like that. As we saw a year and a half ago, widespread rioting and stuff. If you had to travel as a businessman to the inner city or something like that, well, stuff like that, that communism, nasty, uh, Nazi propaganda stuff from the 30s that they took from the Russians, which is exactly what's going on, that kind of stuff, you might want something that is more capable than a standard pistol. It's basically just a standard pistol and... Um, you could look at other options, but that gets a little expensive if you want it to be able to fold. What this advantage has over other um, PCCs, pistol caliber carbines, this isn't a carbine, it's just a pistol, and therefore it has a shorter overall length to go into a messenger bag or a backpack. Other things could potentially work, um, but there's also the advantage of legalities. And what I mean by that is certain states have different laws 
my uh, states that I'm frequently in have the barrel has to be under 12 inches. So while that covers a lot, 12 inches on other things with a non-collapsible thing back here, make the overall length maybe so it can't fit into uh, a backpack. So with a single point sling and a red dot, you might be able to push out, it should be able to muzzle down really well and just have a tension extension. We'll see when I get to the range and you watch my full review. Um, I already swapped out, uh, I, I don't own a Glock, but I don't know, about eight months ago while looking for a magazine that blew apart from an uh, overcharged round, I found a Glock 19 mag just sitting there with this standard capacity. Uh, I've heard rumors that, you know, other magazines of different lengths uh, are out there by Glock, PMAG, and others. But this is just good American-made range toy that just happens to possibly fit into an excellent messenger bag, like from Elite Survival Systems. And so, I could have it in there and be able to quick deploy out of there. There's places to put magazines. There's all kinds of stuff inside. We'll do more later with this. Even have a place to put your pistol for faster needs as it's slung over your head and arm and you could just be chilling out, walking through maybe a dangerous area or park from your way to work to the car, out to the car, and you could be pretty much ready to go, but still concealed for your pistol here. And then you got the PC charger inside in those special times where maybe it ain't time yet to start, you know, carrying a rifle over your shoulder. But like I discussed, uh, you know, when uh, 1984 happened in the year 2020, you might want something more viable that can reach out and touch, as this should be able to do, uh, even with uh, any kind of flip-up sights, M-Bus or something you put on, or with a red dot like this Romeo 5 I ordered. So I think it will be a very good system. I did get some uh, uh, Magpul stuff here for the that and some light adapters. There's M-Lock all around and I bought this little one inch. If you go know a good flashlight that's you know under the $60, $65 range nowadays, a good one inch tube light that would fit in this, I'd like to know, and there's different um, M-Lock adapters to try and figure out, would I go this side, this side, uh, what, you know, what would I be maybe with that kind of three finger Jean LaBelle hold I love so much in grappling, maybe thumb push there or here. I think my most accurate shots might be using it uh, there, um, but anyway, I really think we were for sending this out, and I think this thing is going to be a ton of fun. So that's it. All you need is a uh, single point sling, and I think you can do some good work. I think I'll be able to do good work. Would you be able to do better if it was, you know, braced against your cheek? Could make a good cheek pistol. I reached out to that genius uh, off the wall guy because it's straight blowback, might be a bit too much recoil for that. It may not, if you could find like a little tube, maybe just a little, the, the tiniest tube you could find with a folder, that'd be an option, but that's gonna end up being about a $200 addition to make it a cheek pistol, okay? So uh, I think the blowback might be a little heavy. I'm not saying it couldn't be done, but I wanna see if just putting a single point sling on it, a simple single point sling, SAS style, uh, you know, like they used back in the day with some tension, but now with a red dot right there, I think you'll really be able to do some good work. And so let me know about the light. Hopefully I can find a good little flashlight. This is, does have a thread adapter uh, there, by the way, in the standard 28 pitch. And you could lock the bolt back. You really don't need it on this, but if you really wanted to take it down even farther, it is a takedown. Now, obviously, on the carbine, that makes even more sense so you could put it out like this. But if you really needed to, if that's all you had, you could simply do that, and boy, is that fast. And you can lock it down a little bit tighter there if you needed to make sure 
but it, it's usually good enough that your accuracy is reliable with the locking system that Ruger has and had on their 1022 charger. Anyway, guys, I'm Dan the Wolfman. I'd really like to hear more from you in the comments. Please get down below. And a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And make sure you have stuff like this around to help keep the little bit of rights left as they're trying to stample all over them. Be safe. Follow the firearm safety rules. Bring up children to appreciate and respect firearms. To not abuse them. And just like in the old days, they were raised with them. And try to have a good time, something like this, with your family. This may be something uh, good as well for that wife or girlfriend in your life. To be able to have something to deploy quickly uh, in the bedroom for home defense that isn't a full you know, rifle going around quarters if they don't have the most uh, up-to-date training for a slice in the pie and that kind of thing. So, and especially for people that travel, something like this excellent messenger bag looks like it would really do work. And when things get really bad or you're a hiker, you can throw it inside the backpack, nice padded area and different places for putting magazines and water and all the things you need. And you see it fits in there perfectly. And that's the first time I did that. And it's nice and padded here. And this one is the Guardian from Elite Survival. So anyway, guys, please let me know what you think. Thumbs up, share, subscribe, and get down there in the comments. Do you think it's good to just have something that is legal to put in a bag? Um, like I said, with overall length and barrel length in various states, that does matter. So do you ever think that it's good to just kind of have kind of a fun range toy, but maybe something you could have if things get bad again, that is kind of an intermediate between a pistol and it's not yet time to sling a rifle over your shoulder for those intermediate times. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.